Guys, we are finding all the secret lures that work right now. These ones right here. The watermelons, um, they work really good in like clear water though. I, oh, got them. Oh, it might be big, dude. Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go, there we go. <laughs> That's a Dang. Folks, what's going on? Welcome to the Fishy Norm YouTube channel. Comment dates popping up down below. So make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and the bell. Leave a comment down below on this video for your chance to be next video's comment of the day, guys. We're getting subscribers like crazy right now. So thank you guys so much. Keep on hitting that subscribe button for me, please. But today we are here with my boy fishing with Yak Pack, and I need your help today, Yak Pack, because I'm not gonna lie, today's video, I'm kinda nervous. We did one a little bit back, and it was uh it was following people around an academy, <laughs> and uh, okay. it was it was super awkward, but you guys absolutely smashed the like on that so today we kind of have to film this but basically we we're following people around seeing what they were buying and we were kind of like buying exactly what they were buying but today yak pack and i are here in jacksonville and neither of us are from here so what we're gonna do is go inside and ask people that are picking out lures what is the best fishing gear to use and then whatever they suggest to us you know maybe it could be the pond that we need to go to maybe it could be the lures anything like that i mean just asking fishermen in the fishing section i would you know like like would, what's the move i would tell you the worst <laughs> like i'll be like yeah hey, you need to use a bubblegum trick worm at the pond behind Walmart that's what works best. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean that could happen today some people can like send me on an absolute just like we have no clue where to fish some people could send me like somewhere crazy or they might put me on like the good stuff I'm hoping I run into some of you guys instead of like people who don't watch my channel because it might be weird me going up with the camera and asking yeah. but if not we're figuring out what works around here. We're asking until we have an answer. So, also guys, I've been reading all the comments and one of the most requested videos I've seen is use saltwater fishing lures and freshwater. If you guys wanna see that video, let me know by smashing the like button on this video. If we get 5,000 likes, we will be sure to go inside of Academy and do like some of the worst saltwater fishing lures and also some of the best and try to catch some big bass on them. I think that would be crazy. It would be crazy. Oh yeah, 5,000 likes for an army. That's easy. On, you guys got this. Work. You guys got this. But we're gonna go inside Academy and then hopefully we'll run into some of you guys. If not, we're just gonna ask strangers, what is the move? What type of fishing lure should we use? Where should we fish them? How do we fish them? I feel like people would be nice. I feel like people yeah. would put us on the sauce. We'll see. We'll I hope so. Out. I hope so. I'm nervous. I'm like kind of nervous, kind of excited. I don't know, guys. We're gonna yeah. we're gonna see how it goes. <laughs> see you guys inside. All right, guys. So we were walking into Academy. What's your guys' names? What's Jacob. Your... Jacob. All right. What's your name? James. James. All right. So Jacob and James. You guys are gonna help me, like, because we're not from here, and you guys, you just said you just got done surf fishing. Oh yeah. So you guys are gonna help me pick out like some fishing lures I could use to catch fish today. And whatever you guys pick out, I gotta catch fish on. So All right. that sound good to you guys? Sounds good. All right. Let's go inside. All right. Awesome. No, no. You can. It's actually open to the public. Believe oh. it. Like the students and everybody walk around. All right, guys, so we are inside the store. We have a basket here. And basically, what I'm gonna have you do is show me what works around here, because I don't fish around here, and I saw some of the pictures of the bass that you caught. Whatever your favorite fishing lures are, like if you were making your own tackle box, if you could show me like what to use so I know what to throw, that would be awesome. All right, square bill. You like throwing square bills? Have you ever caught fish on this before? Yeah, I caught about two and three pounders. Two, three pounders? Dang, all right. What do you think would be like the worst fishing lure? Oh, okay. All right, what are these? Trout redfish, snook, and flounder. Okay. All right, Jacob, I see you trying to trick me out here. We're gonna try to catch some bass on these. Have you ever caught a bass on these before? No. I've never fished with that brand. Never fished with it? All right. I'll give you a couple of my favorites. All right. Um, these Senkos here. I know they're a little more than the others, but I think they do make a little bit more of a difference. Okay. But uh, this color here, Interesting. This watermelon red. I mean, just if you could have one lure, watermelon red Senkos. I mean, that's all you need, really. Can't get wrong with that. And I'm a big worm guy, too. Let me see what we got for the worms here. Color right here. This seems to be a good color. This Joomba colored up here in Northeast Florida. All right. I think you have some good luck with that. So. Yeah, I use the June bugs and the watermelon reds like all the time yeah. in uh, Tallahassee. And I figure if they work in Tallahassee, they'll probably work here too. Absolutely. So. All right, Absolutely. thank you. All right, guys, so we just met another subscriber, Will. And so, Will, here's what we're doing in today's video. I'm not from here. And do you fish around here? I do. Perfect. So what we're going to do is have you pick out like some of my fishing lures because I'm just asking everybody in the fishing section okay. what the best fishing lures are to use. So okay. if you got some, you could show them to me. That would be awesome. Okay. I do like Strike King Rage 2. I actually really like that. I really okay. like the overall brand of Strike King. So should I pick one of these up, you think? Because whatever you choose, I'm going to be fishing with today. So okay. whatever you think is, um, is best around here. So these are good too. I do like this color because okay. it's just an Okeechobee crawl. So it gives you like a blue glitter and a natural color. Sweet. So I do like those. So 
I would pick these up. And I like to fish them with the um with the one fourth of uh, bullet weight if they have them. So these are what I like to use, and they're super cheap. They're on you get ten of them for a dollar nineteen. Yeah, that is a deal and a half right there. Yeah, dude. it's called a speed worm. Ew, I don't know if you know or not, but the speed worm might be my favorite of all time. Is it? But yeah, they're here right here. Yeah. Those are the, I like to fish those, and I like trick worms. These ones right here, the watermelons. Um, they work really good in like clearer water though. Yeah, okay. So like, but if you're gonna go for like darker water, I would go with like one of these colors, or like one of these colors, you know? Like right. the classic June bug, or the plum, so. But I do like to fish these a lot. Classic chatterbaits, I love these things. These are one of my favorite baits, actually. That's um, what everybody has said, is that the chatterbait, they work so around well. here, is They huge. work so well. What's your favorite color to go with? Oh, that's a hard one. So, I would, I like, these work a lot. Okay. Or, um, if you've ever fished chartreuse, Dude, you that's know, fine. it's the, it's, it's the go-to. It's my favorite. It's the go it's the go to. everything that's Are you sure you're not fishing with Norm? <laughs> Dude, this is going to be so easy. Bro, he knows what's up. He knows what's up. You're making this so easy on me. After you choose out like another one of your favorites, pick okay. something that might be like challenging. Challenging? Like, pick one that you think I won't be able to catch something on. I think okay. that'd be funny. It's kind of hard to pick like trailers with the chartreuse because basically anything works. Yeah. The only thing that like kind of won't work would be a black and blue because gotcha. obviously. So I would go with these colors. All right, so what we're going to do, I'm going to get those lures that you picked out for you. Oh my God. Thank you so much. <laughs> of course, dude. And then I'm gonna come back, buy all the lures for me, and then I'm okay. gonna go try to catch a fish on all the lures you suggested. Okay. And Thank a few you so other much. people have like suggested them too, so we'll see if your lures are better okay. or the lures that other people picked out are better. All right, guys, so we are here and we just met a subscriber. What's your name, man? Keegan. Keegan, all right, so we're gonna have you show me some of your favorite fishing lures. You fish around here a lot? Yeah. Okay, perfect, because I don't. I usually use something like a purple, like, June bug type of worm. Okay, okay. Okay, so you were saying that this is one of your favorites, and this then, one's one of my favorites. and this is one of your favorites too. Yeah. All right, so I guess I'll get both of these. Guys, we are finding all the secret lures that work right now. Thank you so much, Keegan, for helping us out. So he's showing us the hard baits right now. Which so one's your favorite? Usually, actually, we have a lot of bluegill. Bass love to chase this little bluegill. Perfect, dude. I've never tried one of these before, so I'll have to give it a go. But you said there's a lot of bluegill around here. Yeah, a lot. Huh. Oh, kind of like this one. Oh, this one right here. That one right there. And you said how many how many fish did you catch on this thing? Three or four. Three or four. In my backyard pond. So this black buzz bait right here is that the move? Yeah, probably. Probably. All right. Well, I'll take your word for it. All right, guys. So thanks to Keegan, he helped me pick out all these lures because he's from around here and I'm not. So he's gonna teach me how to use these. And actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy all these lures for you. That way you can go fishing with them and I'm gonna like double buy them so then I can go try to fish with the lures he chose out too. So we're gonna go to checkout real quick and then we're gonna buy all these lures for myself as well. Thank yeah, thank you, you guys. Thanks. You guys have a good one. All right guys, it's time to go fishing. Yesterday I ended up catching a pretty big fish first cast on one of the top waters that a kid picked out for me. So I'm gonna roll that clip right now. Oh my gosh. I just hit one's forehead, yak back. I, oh, got him. Oh, it might be big, dude. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. I think I'm rolling. I'm rolling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy cow. Top water. Top water. First cast. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, sir. Okay, there we go. There we go. <laughs> That's a Dang. <laughs> I was literally going to let him go because I didn't want to get hooked. That's how bad I did. <laughs> Heck yeah. All right. Here you go. <laughs> guys that was absolutely crazy first cast i can't believe that happened but it did end up raining like the whole day after that so this is the next day we're gonna try to get on some fish with lures that everybody picked out for me i actually have uh basically everybody i asked ended up picking out one of these uh stick worms the cinco for me to try whether it was gary yamamoto yum doesn't really matter the brand so this is what i think i'm gonna start with because i absolutely love fishing with uh stick worms and we're here at the first spot i'm gonna try to throw in a couple casts and then we're gonna move to what i think is a uh, better spot so Let's go ahead and start fishing at spot number one. Come on, fish. I know you guys are down here. Ooh, ooh. Oh my gosh, that was so cool. <laughs> oh no, he's stuck on the trees. Okay. Oh, gee. Oh, he's stuck on the other branch. Oh my gosh. Come here, buddy. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> Quick release. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, 
Oh, I just watched him come up and eat it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Another one in the same exact spot, basically. That was crazy. Guys, I know that there's like a little, uh, little deep drain right here where these fish stack up sometimes. So, especially in the summertime. So I decided it'd be a good, just good to stop by and try it. I mean, obviously we caught two fish out of it. See you, buddy. All right, guys, <laughs> we caught two here at the first spot. And I mean, this is really the only spot you can walk around this pond because everybody, everywhere else is everybody's backyard. So I don't want to walk through people's backyards, but onto uh, spot number two. Let's go. It's looking like under the bridge. Really? Yep. All right, I'll have to- I don't know where you tried, but flat, yeah, Senko under the bridge. All right, perfect, thanks, man. Well, shoot, he said the only place to ever caught anything is a worm under the bridge. So maybe we will have to give that a try. Oh my gosh, did you guys? <laughs> he nailed it right there at the edge. That was crazy. I was just about to pull it up. I was working super fast. And this has to be the smallest fish I've caught in uh, at a pretty good time. Well, thanks for biting, buddy. <laughs> that was crazy. Oh, that's him. Got him <laughs> under the tree. Yes. Oh my gosh. There we go, guys. Check that out. It's a little bit of a better one. Slight upgrade here. Even though it's only a little one pounder, I will take it. Up from under the tree. That is so cool. See you, buddy. 